Hello student, let's start All India Cast Test Series Medical 2020 and for OYM batches CF and test number 11 code A and B physics and test date is 14th of March 2021. Let's start the solutions to these problems. The first question says that each side of a cube is measured to be 8.200 meter. The total surface area of the cube with appropriate significant figure is these are the four options given. Now, dear students, now you know that the surface area will be equal to the six time of the, the side of the square, right? Now, the surface area is equal to six time, and L is given to you. That is equal to 8.200 power 2. And if you solve, this becomes 403.44 meter square but with regards to significant figures you have to select it with the same number of significant figure as is here that is 4 so the 4 significant figure will go up to this one so answer should be 403.4 meter square and let's look up the option the option 3 is equal to 403.4 meter square so answer to this question is 3 now the second question says that velocity time graph of a particle moving in a straight line along x-axis is as shown in the figure. Then which of the following relations are correct for describing the motion of the particle over the time interval t1 to t2? V abris is the abris velocity and A abris is the abris acceleration. Now look at the graph as you see in the graph as you move forward then the slope of this graph is decreasing means acceleration is present but the acceleration is changing because the slope is straight vehicle to the acceleration. So instantaneous acceleration I look at this time and this time they are different so acceleration is variable therefore you can't take this equation and even this is not valid the average velocity this formula is valid when the acceleration is constant so you are left with the option that average speed is always equal to total displacement divided by total time so that could be the the correct option so answer to this question will be the option number four the question number three says that the position of a particle is given by relation position vector r is equal to 60 i cap plus 40 square j cap minus 4 k cap and the magnitude and direction of the velocity of the particle at t equal to one second that you get the magnitude as well as direction now dear student you know that once r is given and say what is r is given 60 i cap plus 40 square j cap minus 4 k then the instantaneous velocity of the particle will be equal to dt of r and we can differentiate this become equal to 6 i cap plus 80 j cap minus 0 now velocity at t is equal to 1 second fill so then velocity at e is equal to 1 is equal to 6i plus 8 into 1 j cap. So this is equal to 6i cap plus 8j cap. Now you draw the velocity. So 6 will be along x axis and 8 will be along y axis. So this becomes the velocity. And what is the resultant velocity? So resultant velocity will be x component square plus y component square. So velocity becomes 6 square plus 8 square root that is 36 plus 64 this is 100 root which is 10 meter per second. Now uh, we generally take angle with this one this angle if I take theta is equal to so tan theta is equal to 8 by 6. So 8 by 6 means 4 by 3 if it is 4 by 3 then obviously this theta is equal to 53 degree. Let's look at the option. This is your three answer at 10 meter per second. But the angle, this angle with y axis will be equal to 37 degree. So you go with the option 10 meter per second at 37 degree from the y axis. So answer to this question is option number three. The question number four says that a thin circular ring of radius r with the bead free to slide rotates about its vertical diameter with an angular frequency of omega. The angle made by the radius vector joining the center to the bead with the vertical upward direction when the ring rotates with the angular frequency omega is equal to root of g by r is neglect friction 
and consider that the bead is initially at the lowest position. Now let's take the solution to this. This is a circular ring. Now what do you find in the circular ring? Let's say at any instant the bead is at this point. Now as this is rotating over the vertical axis like this, so it will experience the centrifugal force. So that this is the normal reaction and the weight is acting downward. And let's say with the downward vertical, this angle I take as theta. Now what do you find? This is capital R, the radius of the ring. This is a small r and the bead is here. Normal reaction is in this direction and this is the center O and the weight is acting vertically downward. Let's resolve this one. So it has the horizontal component which is providing the centripetal acceleration. So I write that N and sine of theta is equal to MR omega square. It's rotating over the vertical axis with the angular speed of omega like this one. Now, and from the geometry, what do you find that small r by capital R is equal to sine theta. So if I fill up here, then n sine theta is equal to m r sine theta into omega square. So n become equal to m r omega square. Now let's take the vertical component. The vertical component n cos theta will be equal to the weight and fill up the value of this. So this is m r omega square into cos theta is equal to mg or cos theta is equal to g divided by r omega square. So this is the general formula and fill here omega is equal to g by r. When you fill this omega root of g by r, this become equal to g by r and multiply by g by r. So this become equal to 1. Therefore, theta is equal to how much? 0 degree. So this angle becomes 0, which is at bottom point, And he's saying angle with the vertical line. So angle with the vertical line would be equal to 180 degree. Because with the bottom it is 0. Then with this line, that angle will be coming 180 degree. So the correct option to this is option number 1. The question number 5 says that a block moves down an inclined plane of angle of inclination theta with constant velocity. If the block is projected up along the same plane with the initial velocity u, the distance traveled by the block before coming to rest is. These are four options. Now, what do you see when this block is coming with the constant speed downward on the rough plane? Then I know that the force acting in this direction is equal to mg sin theta. There's a normal reaction. So the friction will be the the kinetic friction mu k into n and n is equal to mg cos of theta. Right. So these forces are balanced. So what I write that g sin theta is equal to mu, mu k I am writing k mu into g into cos theta. This is one equation. Now it says that if this body is projected up with speed of u on the same inclined plane on this rough inclined plane, this is the initial speed u given to this one. Then the weight component which is equal to mg sin theta and the friction mu mg cos theta will act downward due to this the retardation on this will be equal to g sin theta plus mu g cos of theta but also you know that mu g cos theta is equal to g sin theta so this would be g sin theta plus g sin theta which is equal to minus 2g sine of theta, right? So this is the retardation of the object. Now, you have to find the stopping distance before it comes to rest. Say I see the distance and what is the formula? This is equal to u squared by 2a and a is this one that is equal to u square over 2g sine theta and that is equal to u square by 4g sine of theta. And look at the option u square over 4g sin theta is the third answer. So therefore to answer this question is 3.